The magnetic loop antenna. Magnetic loop antennas, MLA, are well known for their superior selectivity, low noise and high directivity. Proper design plays a big part in this. It is a very simple antenna. It is just an inductor formed by a wire loop and a capacitor tuned to resonance. An MLA is a convenient and lightweight antenna. It can be deployed quickly and is ideal for use in places where hoa restrictions make full-size wire antennas impossible. They are also a favorite for field day and summit on the air operations, abbreviated as SOTA. Let's do the peak noise method first. Our radio is tuned to the desired frequency and now we're going to set up the remote HG2 controller. First determine where we are in, in our tuning range. We know all the way up is 30 megahertz and all the way down is about uh, 7 megahertz. Let's take it all the way to the top. You set our rate to max. You notice the light comes on. And here we are at 30 megahertz. If you wanted to go to 7 megahertz, push the down button. And here we are at 7 megahertz. Okay, I like to always start from the top and come on down, so let's take it to 30 megahertz. Now, for the actual tuning, I like to set this to about the 11 o'clock position and tune on down to find the, uh, the peak uh, noise. Notice there was a peak right there. So there's the noisiest portion of the peak. Turn the control off and check the SWR. Well, it's 2.6 to 1, 2.4 to 1. That's actually pretty good, 2.5 to 1 right there. We could now use the auto tuner and tune it to 1 to 1. But if you wanted to, you could actually use the controller to tune it a little bit closer to get a better SWR. Take the rate control, set it to about 9, 9 30, 10 o'clock, turn it on, and see, just touch it up a little bit. Ah, that was the wrong direction, that's okay. 4 to 1, 16 to 1, 1 1.6 to 1. That's very good. So you'll notice that by alternately touching the up and down buttons, you can get it very close. Let's see if you can actually hear a signal. Another way to tune it is just to use an SWR meter. Well, this particular radio has an SWR meter built in. Again, what we're going to do now is make sure the antenna is tuned all the way to the uh, 30 megahertz position. Again, the, the way we do that is to tune up. The red light comes on, and there we are at the 30 megahertz position. We don't need to listen to the radio now. All we're looking at now will be the SWR indication that you see right here and we'll make these adjustments right here with our controller. So we'll transmit for one watt signal. You notice the SWR is way, way high. Well, we want to get it under two to one. Okay. So bring it down. Twenty six to one, sixteen to one. Now we to go take it to fine over here. Twelve to one, ten to one, five to one, three to one, two point six to one, 
1.9 to 1. So that's how you do it. It's minor adjustments over here by just touching the button. Now let's suppose you couldn't get it quite. Yeah, I'll take it back up here to. Uh, let's say 3.9 to 1. That's the best. One way to do it is just to is to uh, take it out of transmit and set the auto tuner to auto. Now you can do automatic tuning and you press the ATU button. It takes it down to 1.1. So that's the simplest way to do it. Use the ATU. There you go. Now let's see how well we tuned our signal in. And sure enough, you're getting a very good signal.